Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we've got one mission to pull off, it's a two skull mission. You can see we've got a couple of mechs back, a couple of our pilots back, we're one day before the financial report. But we've got a mission here, I had to sell a couple things too. Some of the old junk, I had to sell one of the fusion cores, just to get the money to make our financial report here, just in case this mission goes south. Um, but we're going to go and take a quick contract today, and then we're going to... Um, I think run until we get our Zeus and Bushwhacker back and then uh, make the attempt to upgrade those while we move to a new planet. So we're going to take Hot Landing here. Uh, it's a two skull mission in the Badlands, but really, really good cash here. So we're going to negotiate this uh, and we're going to go one of four and take lots of money here. Uh, we want money to be able to upgrade our Zeus and our Bushwhacker. So we're going to do this and accept. And now we're going to change out our pilots here slightly. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to let uh, Pylon lead this here. We're going to bring in the fire starter. Um, just in case there's something that we want there. Uh, and then we're going to go with uh, Raider and the Hunchback. We're going to put Warlock, I think, in the fire starter. And let's put, I guess it really doesn't matter. Riddler's in pretty high spirits right now. So let's put him in the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, let's go this route. And we'll deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Four on the ground. So chances are we're going to have reinforcements on this one. Of course you do. Yeah, they've already made their way in here. 35 tonner. But we're going to make our way up the hill regardless. I'm listening. Let's start getting up here. Confirmed. So if we get lucky today, we might pick up another uh, by. full mech. We're looking still for uh, catapult. Um, we've also got Jaeger mech parts, rifleman parts. I don't know with the two skull mission. We may, we may not, unlikely, but you never know, right? I'm receiving you. We got enough parts, I mean, almost enough to get a Vindicator too, which would be nice. Oh, vehicle, two max, 5010 vehicle, okay. Yes, not too bad. Heading out, full speed. Gonna work on uh, getting these guys at the top done first. 60 tonner. 65 tonner. Ooh, could be an archer. Sorry, not an archer, a uh, catapult. And what else do we have here? 50, 250 ton vehicles? No, 40 and 50. This guy's a 35 tonner. Uh, let's get Warlock moving early. Get up to here. We're going to sprint in next turn and barbecue somebody. Yep. So it looks like a light lance on there as a reinforcements. So really our only concern is the two guys up top. Orders. Let's get up here with the Phoenix Hawk. Maybe this vehicle will come around here. Nope. Let's reserve to see what they do here. If we can get a chance to get an early vehicle kill, that would be nice, but it doesn't look that way. I'm here. Yeah. Quick no vehicle kills on this one. No big deal. Um, Good to go. Gonna reserve pylon. See what they do here. He can get up and get eyes on these two heavies up here. Receiving you. Yep. So we're gonna get right up in here. All of our guys are gonna go before these guys anyway. Crusader and a dragon. 
one in AC5, not so bad. Weakened armor and a Crusader. We do have Crusader parts, so we could max Crusader. Uh, well, we can't really max Crusader parts. We're only getting two anyway, so. Um, who are we going to hit? Dragon's got uh, less armor, so let's go after him. Alright, he's tagged. I got a feeling they've got guys that are uh, stuck off the map board there. Alright, so let's move up. I'm thinking we probably want to shut the Crusader down more than the Dragon, just because of the amount of weapons it has. So we're going to fire everything into this guy. Okay. Okay, fire starter coming up. And somebody running away. Oh, using the hill, I guess. Probably a locust dam. Really not helping out, buddy. Commander? Now, can we get in to see anybody? We definitely can. Ready for orders. But let's move Riddler first. Okay, we're going to continue along with the Crusader here. Okay, leg exposed. That looked like a 15 rack. 50 ton mech. That's interesting. Standing by. Centurion, maybe? Let's get up here. Moving at full throttle. Firing on this guy. Confirm. Okay, one Ultra 10 hit. Yeah, it's a bit farther move. We got more evasion, so let's go from that side. Roger that. It's not the side I want, but it's the side we need. Well, arm hit. Let's knock him down. Nope. Okay, they're both tagged now. Gonna try for a back shot, looks like. Yep. I think we have like one dragon part too. Are you meleeing? You totally are. Because you're overheating, that's why, probably. Okay, Warlock. Commander. Commander. Let's get back here, please. Run. No, thinking, shooting, and running. Uh, let's just leave the medium lasers off for now. Save some heat. There goes the left arm. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? No, he ain't shooting either. Firestarter trying to come to help. Not gonna happen. Not going to happen. 20, 50. There's probably one more mech. I wonder if it's stuck back there. I did have one mission where two urban mechs were stuck off the board here. They just sort of stood there. I have no idea why, but... Yes, Commander. All right. Hmm... Yep. Firing this guy's backside. Did not necessarily do what I wanted it to.
Okay, well, the threat right now is the dragon. I will be done. Because he still has the ability to fire. Going full throttle. Whereas the Crusader could fire, but he'll shut himself down. So let's fire everything on this guy. Punching all the buttons. Nice shooting. Well, for him it's nice shooting because he's actually hitting. Yes, Commander. All right. I see seas of green. Here it comes. Engaging. Boomstick. Wow, very few hits there, if any. Oh, he's got one point of armor left. Okay. Sure, man. You do you. Not sure what that thing is flying around there, but... Ah, it's the missile launcher somehow floating in space beside him right here. Get a bit of range. Get into here. Just gonna keep ourselves turned because we got these guys coming up here this turn. So we're gonna fire all of the flamers on this guy. He like sure ain't. That was a critical hit, yeah, that's it for him, I think, pretty much. Oh, they got all four up there now, looks like. Okay, so that is 10, so it probably is a Centurion. Another 35 tonner back there. Okay. Alright, probably a Panther. Alright, let's terminate these guys with extreme prejudice and go home. Alright, this guy first. Uh, we're going to go kind of over here. Or should we go back again? Hundred ninety-four, one and a hundred. So let's go back here. If we get lucky, the punch hits the back and he's done. CT back. Well... Or we could just turn him into a stick. Yeah, or we could do that too. Bye bye. Hostile removed. Sure is. Extreme prejudice. Okay, Crusader's got a regular engine. Oh, they're finally hitting. Uh. No. Riddler first. Let's get back here. Starting to overheat now, but... Um, 71 left in the leg, eh? Let's go for the leg. We're going to just use the three mediums. Wow. Did not see that coming. Oh, ammo explosion. That'll do it. It's kind of what I was hoping for, but... I didn't think we were going to get it. Yes, Commander. All right, they don't have any heavies left, so let's start on these guys. Move order received. Boombox, we got to kill this guy fast. We're going to offensive push him, only to push him back a turn. Damn. Well, I didn't think we would hit. Oh, I thought he had already gone. Okay. Did that actually all hit, or was that just like seven points? No, just one hit. One hit for seven. Okay. 
All right, Warlock. Uh, we're going to reserve. There's the Locust M. You know, the 50 tonner could be the one of those hunchbacks with the LRM 20 on it, too. This is definitely a panther. Oh, okay, good. Good. Waiting for orders. Let's get rid of this boom box. Uh, let's do it from the back. I know we're turning our back to the enemy, but got lots of chevrons of evasion, so we should be okay. Here he comes. Targeting for physical attack. Oh, you missed! 95% chance and you missed, buddy! And you missed with all those, too. What the hell? Wow. Well, at least you tagged him. That's a lot of rocket launchers. All right, let's get on that guy. Uh, Commander? Let's get into here. And leave one medium laser off, fire the rest. Okay, good. That problem's solved. That would have been bad back attack against Pylon, that's for sure. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, he got with the flamer, though, eh? No? Or is that... Th that's a fluid gun, isn't it? Didn't look like it hit, though. Alright, well, um... Commander. It. Yes, I am. Once again, all flamers on this guy. And fire. On the mm -hmm. Oh, not bad. Makes him nice and warm. Alright, let's cool off a bit. Oh, we can't, uh... thought we could stomp on the boombox, but it doesn't look like we can. Let's get up here. Move. Fire the medium lasers on him, though. Actually, we're gonna do this again. Just so he can't go before us. Let's aim for... Side? Yeah, let's aim for the side. Ah, uh, front shot, eh? Alright. Okay, here comes that locust. Trying to get around to do some flanking. I like the fact that the light light mechs now flank you. Kind of a little bit more realistic than just you know standing and uh, and shooting. Right here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm all right, fire on this guy. Hopefully, we shut him down. Fire all the flamers. That should do it. Okay, now let's move back over here. I'm gonna move back to start engaging this locust. Battle mech power up detected. Yep, that's all he can do this turn. Watch the flank. Oh, I'm watching it. He'd have to be a damn good pilot to hit you, buddy. Let's go from this way. Come on. 95. There we go. That problem solved. We don't have anybody at our back anymore. That's a trebuchet. Double LRM version. Okay. 
We are not equipped for a long range battle. Alright. Move into here. Yeah, fire these on this guy. Oh, it's on now. Sure is. Guard a critical hit. I await your command. Let's get down here. Let's fire right over Raider's head, right into this guy. And yeah, we can go with everything this time. Roger that. Yeah, he's going down. I think things are going swimming, don't you? I do now, yeah. We removed the key enemy right at the very beginning, so this should just be clean up at this moment. Locust. Yeah, that's fine. Systems holding. Raider's taking a lot of hits. I'm listening. Um, not the optimal range. That's pretty darn good right there. Take the 90-something percent chance to hit. And... Fire everything on this guy's backside. Maybe we kill him in one shot here. Yep, there we go. I got him. Nicely done. Ooh, nice shooting. Nice shooting. Barely hit, Commander. You're still hit though. I, what is up with these Panthers and their their uh, ostrich positions where they stand on one leg here? Okay, that guy's gonna get up this turn. By. So, right. let's not let that happen. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the CT hit. Okay. Down to two. Down. And those missiles are probably gonna come against the fire starter, my guess. Yep. That's what I would have shot at. Commander. Okay, gonna vigilance and offensive push this guy back a turn. Gonna fire for the CT and we're gonna unload just the three mediums. Okay, two hits. And Pylon can sprint down here. Oop, not there. Right here. Let's move. See how quickly we can finish this up here. Gonna vigilance. And we're just gonna shoot on this guy. Um Yeah, fine. Might as well fire the boom box. Okay. So now we bring down a warlock. Yeah. Sprint, and we're going to get into here. Here, like that. Yep. And we're going to offensive push this guy. Going to go for the CT, leave off both medium lasers. Guess I'll give it to him then. Okay, that's that guy done. That one's done for. Well, yeah, we really didn't. Really didn't give me what I wanted on this one, but we'll take what we got. Uh, let's go for a back attack. Got it. Okay, left arm, left torso, so that's one of the missile launchers gone. And the whole mech gone. Yep. There it is, folks. All right, let's see what we can use on our mechs and stuff. Uh, 700,000, I think we didn't take any significant damage at all. Hunchback did take a bunch of missile hits, but, you know, still tons of armor left. 
Yeah, lots of mech parts. The boom sticks here, which is a good possibility to take that. Um, light machine gun arrays. Rocket launchers, great. Flood the system with those. That's about it, really. So it's the boomstick or a mech part. I think we're going to go with the boomstick. I'm trying to, once again, trying to stay away from mech parts unless we can complete a mech, and we can't at this point, so we'll just stay away from those. We'll just go for the boomstick. And yeah, we got a trebuchet part. Fluid gun, rocket launcher. Okay. Got the financial report. Okay, there's the financial report. Not so bad. And 26,000, not too bad at all. Okay, while those are going, let's manage our tasks a bit. We want to get the Zeus to the top. We want to get the Bushwhacker to the top because we're going to get those ready to go. So let's ac accept that. Now let's go to the star map. We're going to move to a new planet. Um, going to keep going this way. Ah, Dust Ball, why not? 11 days, hallucinatory vegetation, always a win. Mega City. Research, Rocky World. Yeah, it's not too bad. Black Market. Let's travel there. Calculating course now, Commander. Okay, so the Zeus and the Bushwhacker. So one of the two I think is going to be a missile version, and I think the, probably the Bushwhacker will end up being that. Um, it'll kind of be, I think, a replacement for the Centurion. We had those three LRM launchers on it uh, and lots of ammo. Although I think we're going to need to get some case this time. I think the biggest issue we had last time with no was no case. So let's make sure we have case for the ammo. Um, really looking forward to getting some clan armor that has case built in. That'll be nice. Uh, what else do we got? Um, the Zeus, I think. I want to put an AC-20 on that guy. But I don't think we've got one that we can use. Let's visit the store here. Bushwhacker, one more day till it's back. So let's have a look. Um, there is an, <laughs> look at this, we wanted AC-20s and there they are. Uh, double stability plus five heat. I was really looking for something with more damage, but the stability is nice. This guy's got what? Uh, 152,000, relatively reasonable. Let's go to our selling here and see if we actually do have one. We don't. So, what do we do have in ballistics? Not much. We do have the clan Gauss rifles, though. 75 damage, eight, 780 meters, 12 tons. We do have the LB-20X as well. Plus 50% crit, plus 1 accuracy for 12 tons. The Ultra 5 is nice too. We can't use the precision ammo with it, but we do have it AC-20 precision as well. So we could take an AC-20 with precision ammo. Let's, let's buy that AC-20. Uh, range and, range and evasion ignore or stability damage. I think this time range and evasion ignore. Better chances to hit, the stability, not such, not such a big deal, but the better chances to hit and the increased range to 410 meters is I think a really good thing. So let's let's buy that, so we have it. Um, and we'll leave the rest for now, defense gyro. Plus one defense against being hit, that's a nice thing. Let's have a look, what else, nothing else here. Okay, so we're gonna hold off on the defense gyro for now. I uh, just I want to see how much funds it's going to take to put our mechs together here. So let's go to the Argo. Uh, one day for the Bushwhacker to be back. So let's take the day. Done. Cold metal back in nine days. Good. I think the Zeus will be up and running for him by that point in time. So let's have a look at our mech bays now. I'm so excited about this. Finally, we get a, a mech that's in the... Uh, he well, this is an assault category, but it's a heavier mech. So, so let's have a look at this guy first. There it is in all its glory. Okay, so we got it set up and ready to go. We've got two missile hard points in the arm. I thought this guy had... Oh, he has a ballistic hard point in this arm. I thought it was in this torso, though. I guess I was mistaken. All right, so let's start off with... Um, we've got the Endo and Pharaoh in there already. We want to go to weapons. Let's put in what we think we're going to be using. So we want the AC-20 precision ammo. I'm going to drop it in here for now. 
Um, probably going to need, what do you think, three tons of ammo or two? At this moment, probably only two. Um, there's our AC-20 that we wanted. Now we need to get... Um, can we put a hand on this side? No. Just lower arm, I think. Oh wait, we got TTS Ballistic as well we need to put in here. Um, lower arm. There we go. And I don't think this side's got a hand either. I think it just has a lower arm. Which we don't have. No. Okay, well, not much we can do about that. I'm, I'm concerned about this big engine though. Does have a double heat sink kit, but do we need to really be moving at 235 kilometers an hour? Probably. Well, probably. Probably. Um, we only have injury cockpits, I think, available, unfortunately. Definitely going to need a Guardian ECM. Let's put that in the CT for now. And let's put the injury cockpit in. That's, 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 can't was you. Wait, what did that say? Can't use this X with cockpit injury. Um, okay. That's interesting. So, why not? Superior cockpit electronics. I'm going to have to look that up and find out what that exactly means. Um, probably should have done that before this episode, but... Yeah. Um, okay. So... We can add a lot of heat generating weapons in this thing too, right? It's got a lot of heat sinks. We got these heavy clan lasers as well, right? We can put a couple of these guys in here. Um, we want to add a bit more armor for sure. Why the legs are so low, I don't know. Um, six tons left, and how are we doing for heat now? Alpha Strike 86. We have ER larges as well. Uh, medium pulse lasers. We've got rocket launchers on the arm. We do we have I thought we had an R oh the ballistic arm mount is on right. It's on the um Yeah. It's on the uh Jenner. I mean we could pull a Jenner out of service, but I think I want to keep that as a in the lighter lance. Um so missile launchers. We got LRM accuracy ammo, so I mean we could put in Clan LRM-15. We've only got one of those, though. Got IT, well, we're closer range, right? So, maybe we go with the ATMs. I mean, we could go with ATMs, right? Now, this uses... Has an integral fire control, Artemis. So, these use LRM ammo, am I correct? Yeah, LRM, but cannot use special ammo or TTS. I don't know, this guy's with the SRM4 streak as well, right? Accuracy SRMs and bonus damage SRMs, but minus accuracy. I would rather go with accuracy since we don't have an arm mount. Although we do have laser, we do have more laser points on this side. We gotta worry about heat too, right? Um, we don't have any case either, so we should probably drop these down here. Okay, how do we get extra... The only way to get extra weight would be to drop this fusion core. But if we do that, let's say we go down to... We're at 235 kilometers an hour. 235. Going down to a 280. 
is 180 kilometers an hour. We're losing 55 kilometers an hour. That's a fair bit. But the weight, this is 11 tons as opposed to 32 and a half. Then we could ditch the endosteel and ferrofibrous because we'd have like a ton of, of stuff we could jam in this thing. But then again, this is supposed to be a close range mech and we don't have, we don't have the speed to get close range. What's the point? So an 80 ton at 260 is 170 kilometers an hour. I think we need to go with the 280 with the plus one slots. That would be 66 heat sinking. Right now it's at 72 and we're like way overheating right now. Um, these medium heavies, as much as I love them, just don't have the heat sinking right now. Well, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's go back. Let's pull out the fusion. Confirm this. Let's lower the engine. Thanks, Bubba. Going to the Zeus. I like the look of this mech, too. Not as much as I like the Battlemaster. Battlemaster looks pretty awesome. Okay, so let's start off then. Put the 280 in. Let's go bigger. Bigger is better, right? So they say. Uh, TTS Ballistic we want back in here. I know that. Guardian ECM we want to put in here just for now. So we don't forget. Uh, and the lower arm is going on this side. Um, double heatsink kit goes in. And we could put one double heatsink in here. Okay. And then let's max out the armor. We can drop two points CT back. We don't have to worry about that. Then let's go to our Ballistic. Precision ammo, one in each leg. Like I said, I don't think we're going to need more than 10 tons to start. We might eventually, but... And we're going to go with the bonus to hit weapon. Then we had the two... Uh, sorry, laser weapons. Heavy, medium, laser. Let's split those out, one on either side for now. And then we want to put our ATM back in. We can put the ATM-12 in now. Can we put both in? Yeah, that's some crazy firepower right there. We just need heat sinking. Wish we had exchangers. Look at the... <laughs> look at the Alpha Strike. Oh my god. Really? I mean, we could put a Thunderbolt in too. Thunderbolt 15 for 60 damage. It's heat efficient, 17. What's the heat on these guys? 24 and 18. Like if we go all punchy weapons, let's say. No, I don't, I don't know. I like... Well, if we're going to be making a missile mech... Although 12 times 12, that's 144 damage if everything hits, right? Let's just leave one ATM out. Let's put in one ton of ammo for the launcher. Can't use anything but regular ammo, unfortunately, so I want to make sure that the AC ammo is split up. Um, let's go to equipment. Uh, actually, I was going to check the store. Just to see if they do have a hand. I don't remember them having one, but no. The defense gyro, still, I think we should probably go with something like that. But let's see how much it's going to cost to put to build this. The XL gyro, um, 40 stability, still, still pretty fine. Saving us two tons, that's it. Yeah, it's only two tons. I mean, the stability, the other one would be better, I think. But we're already at 200,000, so let's just see what else we got here. Um, yeah, you know what? we got to take out one of these two. Let's take out the Pharaoh for now. Um, 
And we gotta start jamming heat sinks in this guy. Look at this. I'm liking the loadout. Just wondering if we're light on ammo. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tons left. That's pretty darn close to what we need here. We pull that out, put a double heat sink in, and then one, two, three. How you like me now? That's not bad. Then we just need to get a hand for this arm. So we got plus one, plus two, and then one evasion ignore missed, plus one for the arm accuracy. So that's pretty, pretty good for this side, I think. So 208,017 days. Let's try this. I'm interested to see how that functions. Right. I'll get it in the and then the bushwhacker. Let's have a look at this guy. So once again, double heat sink engine. We're going to leave the core as is. The XL engine, we're going to... Is this the Klein XL engine that we put in, right? So the AC-10, I think, can come out. We're going to turn this guy into an LRM boat, I think. Oh, we got lower arm mounts. So we got two, four missile points here. So if we pull out... Don't need the machine gun. Don't need the LRM-5. LRM ammo in the arm. Probably a bad idea. If we do... see here. We've got the two clan LRM-20s for very little weight. What's our heat sinking here? 60 Alpha Strike 72. Or we could go with the two Thunderbolts for pinpoint damage. Um... Requires AC 10 ammo, but it's plus one accuracy, and then we've got the Artemis and everything too, right? So this will be 120 damage, whereas this is like, if they all hit, it's 80 and 80, it's 160. But if we put dead fire ammo in, this will be like 240 damage, but it's splash too, right? And the weight is like half of that of what we would be using with the other one. But we need more ammo. You can pull out the medium pulses too, right? Although we need to increase the armor. So let's pull out the medium pulses for a second. Let's increase the armor. I don't think we really need all that much armor. But it's better to keep it alive than anything, I think. So let's go and look. With 20 shots. There's the Narc LRM-5 too, right? Like, that's kind of cool. It's only 6 heat. So whoever we're shooting at, we could paint as a target. And if we put the LRM-15 in the other side, then this thing would just be missiles. I mean, that's what the Centurion was anyway. Only difference is this guy's cooler looking and with more armor. So if we go that route, let's have a look and go... Um, could drop Endo Steel in. And then we can do... Uh, let's see here. Put Injury Cockpit in. Let's put the Artemis in. Let's drop that in the CT for now. Um... What else can we use here? Nothing really. We don't have any gyros, unfortunately. So we still got a bit of weight left. We do need the ammo now. So let's put the dead fire ammo in. Um, what did that just say? 
Cannot use dead fire ammo or Artemis sister to Oh right. But we could go this route instead. We need to buy more LRM ammo. Now we got some more here. Oh man. We still got more missile launchers on this arm over here too, right? Drop another LRM5 in. It's because we're shooting 30, 50, 70 per turn. So, 700 rounds. We need at least six tons of ammo. We've got two. Which means we definitely need case. Accuracy ammo is how many? 140. Let's do this. Let's leave the LRM narc on. But let's put it in the arm. Give it a better chance to hit. So we're shooting 45 rounds. We can put some secondary weapons in. We're going to need heat sinking too, right? What are we at now? Alpha strike is 42. Why did that change so much? 36. Oh, right, because we pulled out the post lasers. That's right. So we can go with. So we got a really good chance to hit here. Plus two, plus three. That's going to make these accurate. This is going to be accurate. Shooting 45. So this is three, six turns. We need at least two more tons of ammo. Um, weapons. Missile and LRM ammo. Who'd have thought I'd be buying LRM ammo? New equipment available. But I did lose like four tons of it in the Centurion, so so let's just do this. That's going to give us about 12 turns of continuous fire with these. And then let's go to weapons. We're going to have a look at our laser weapons, I think. We could go ballistic in the arm, but we've only got seven tons left, so we have to be very, very careful with what we're going to throw in here. And we've got another 18 heat available. I mean, we could go with an ER large. It is a distance weapon. 35 heat, though. Uh, regular large, clan medium pulse, 510 range, oh wait, that's a large laser, clan pulse is 460, these are what, 800 and something? 690 meters, large laser is 510, ER large, 630, that's a little better. Heavy heat though. Even with two more heat sinks in here, it's like 66. We'd be turning it on and off a lot. Um, clan medium pulse. Nor two evasion pips. Although it's not any kind of heavy damage though. I was hoping to give it one something that wasn't splash damage. I mean, I guess we could drop a couple of mediums in. And then just put some heat sinks in. Like if we just put two medium lasers in the one arm here. That's 62. We could go with even more. Go with three medium lasers, let's say. We use this arm to shield. We can pull the lower arm off. Because we can put that on the uh, Zeus. And then... What's our heat sinking at now? Yeah, and then we put in... One, two, three, four. Should make us neutral. It's actually not too bad of a loadout. Paravel or M20s. A NARC launcher that we can use at... at extreme range that'll do some damage as well although it doesn't really do too much stacks up to 10 times works two turns 
and then three medium lasers. Yeah, we could go this route. Let's give this a whirl, see what happens. I'm thinking we're going to be moving away from the missile boats very soon anyway. Um, unless we can start doing like a lot of stability damage with them, but these aren't generating that much stability, unfortunately. So let's go this route and just confirm this. It's only 44,000. All right, so there we go. We got those two guys running right now. So let's have a look at the Argo. And we've got 17 days to wait, 18 days to the financial report. Um, so we're going to end the episode here. I'll have a look at the contracts, see how that goes. And if we can actually get a big contract before the end of the month, then what I'll do is I'll wait it out. And if not, I'll pull off another mission. Uh, with the current lance that we have going and then the second mission would be the new guys so if you like the episode drop a like um, if you have any suggestions for the loadout for the zeus and the bushwhacker let me know uh, i want to use the zeus more as a close range guy the bushwhacker is a long range guy but uh, i think right now that's kind of how it's working the only thing i might change around is maybe pull the three mediums off and put that er large laser in if we can find some exchangers or something um but that's, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.